The city of Sarasota begins enforcing its new ordinance related to panhandling. SNN local news reporter Amber Sinem explains how officers are approaching it and what it means for people asking for money along public streets. If you've taken a drive in Sarasota city limits today, you may have noticed a drop off in the number of panhandlers along the roads. But some locals are now questioning just what kind of signs or actions are now prohibited with the new ordinance. They've been warned. And on Monday, Sarasota's new solicitation ordinance went into effect, now prohibiting sign holders along roadways to make any exchange with passengers in a car. Right. Sarasota Police right. Chief Bernadette DePino no, says while the ordinance is in effect there. now, officers are still giving those in violation a chance to comply and drop the signs. We're actually going out proactively with a group of officers uh, to different intersections that are within the boundaries of the ordinance and we're warning people and we're also taking photographs of the signs and we're giving people a chance to comply. While some have questioned whether advertisers or protesters may be in violation of the new ordinance, Topino clarifies it only prohibits the intent to make a transaction with someone in a vehicle, not the actual sign holder. If this does not impact businesses and it doesn't impact political signs uh, of any kind, um, this is in, in prevents people from engaging in getting something from someone out of a car. Though the exchange is a two-way road, the new ordinance does not hold a vehicle passenger responsible. But DePino says the idea isn't out of the question. Civil rights activist and attorney Andrew Mogensen says the ACLU will continue to monitor actions taken by the Sarasota police officers concerning the treatment of the homeless and panhandlers. Chief DePino said while police officers are handing out warnings to those in violation of the ordinance now, those who continue to panhandle after the warning may face quite a bit more trouble, including arrest. She said that would be up to the discretion of the officer. I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News.